For this demonstration, we're going to look at the CrowdStrike Zero Trust Assessment with HyperAdapt. Using the Zero Trust Assessment score, we can adjust how the user authenticates or if the user can authenticate to a resource. So to start this, I'm going to authenticate into my computer using Hyper. And if we look at our zero trust assessment right now, this machine has a zero trust assessment of 24. In our adapt settings, we have our threshold set at 20. So anything over 20 is okay. Anything under 20 will require whatever we have selected here for exempt authenticators. So if this were a 19, I would get desktop SSO. So I'm going to start logging into Okta here. And you'll see it'll give me a choice of what I want to authenticate with. So I can use a pass key or I can use my hyper authenticator. In this case, I'm going to use my hyper authenticator. I'm going to scan the QR code and it will let me in. Now let's sign out and let's adjust our settings. So now with having a assessment score of 24, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna change my threshold to 25. And this could also be a range and we could do a high, medium or low and change the authenticators for each range. But to keep it simple, we're going to put it here. And now we're going to say anything under 25, we're going to have to do desktop SSO. So if I come back to my machine and I try to log into Okta again, it's going to force me to use the session I signed in with for desktop SSO to log in instead of prompting me to choose which authentication method I want to use. So that is CrowdStrike and HyperAdapt working together to keep things more secure.